Hello guys and welcome back to Engineering Hack, where we try to solve engineering problems in a way that's hopefully easy to understand. Today another problem involving water and pure substance analysis, finding thermodynamic properties. Problem statement reads, a rigid tank with a volume of 1.8 meters cubed contains 40 kilograms of saturated liquid vapor mixture of water at 90 degrees Celsius. Now the water is slowly heated. Determine the temperature at which the liquid in the tank is completely vaporized. Also, show the process on a TV diagram with respect to saturation lines. So, let's analyze the problem. We get this red going here. Um, rigid tank. Okay, what does that tell us? Well, we're going to have two states here. Because we first have state one, the original state, and then we're adding heat, slowly heating it up. So, let's just call it state one and two for now. State one. and state two and as we're going from state one to state two we are adding heat yep now this is a rigid tank so what does that tell us it tells us the volume of one the volume that one occupies that we, we know to be 1.8 meters cubed has to be exactly the volume of two because a rigid tank implies that the volume cannot change regardless of what happens with the fluid inside um we have a saturated liquid vapor mixture right so we have in state one we have liquid and vapor coexisting there part of it is vapor part of it is liquid right so that tells us already that we can go straight into the saturated uh, water table and grab the properties for state one there afterwards what we're doing is we're giving heat into this mixture all the way until the tank is completely vaporized. So therefore, when we reach state two here, we know we have no liquid left whatsoever. We only have vapor. Okay? And one way to say this is to say X, remember X is a quality, and remember X is just the mass of vapor in respect to the mass total. So if there's no liquid, that means the mass of vapor is equal to mass, mass total, so therefore my quality is one or 100%, same thing, right? So that's a way of telling it. So the quality in state two, X2, is 100%. We need to find out what is the temperature in T2. So what is T2? Temperature at state two. And also to show on a TV diagram, that is a temperature specific volume diagram, what has happened. All right, so to do that, as per usual, what we need is to define our states. So in the first state, we have two thermodynamic properties. The first one is that temperature is 90 degrees Celsius. The second one is that we have the volume of the tank and also the mass of water, which is 40 kilograms. Okay, note that the specific volume is a thermodynamic property as is the temperature. So if those two things combined, we have the state completely defined, right? So if I wanna know, let me get rid of this. If I don't want to know what is the specific volume, specific volume in state one, specific volume in state one, all you need to do is take the volume in one and divide by the mass in one. In this case, the volume is 1.8 meters cubed and the mass is 40 kilograms, which means that the specific volume is 0 0.045, 0 0.045 meters cubed per kilogram. Okay, so that gives us two thermodynamic properties, which means that we can go into the table and find out everything you want to know about this state. On state two, we know two things too. We know the quality, which is not a thermodynamic property per se, but it is one of the things we can use to find out um, where we are in the state. And you also know the specific volume because specific volume, oops, not this, the specific volume on state two has to be equal to the specific volume of state one. Why? because the volume did not change, V1 equals V2, and the mass did not change. There's no mass leaving this tank, right? right? We're only giving heat, we're not, there's no uh, mass being removed as we give heat to this tank. So therefore, because this guy did not change and this guy did not change, therefore this guy did not change either, right? So we have two things for state two as well, right? So for state two, and let me go ahead and put here, so this is V1 and it's also V2, right? So for state two, which is where I'm looking for the temperature, all we know is that T2 is greater than T1, right? Because if I'm giving heat, right? If I, if I know this is at 90 and I'm giving heat, then at the end of the heat addition process, I expect a T2 to be greater than T1. That's all I know, right? So that's useful information for us to check when we find the actual number to check if it makes sense, if there's logic behind it, right? So what I'm looking for in state two, I'm gonna to go to the water table now. 
And there's a link to the water table in the description in case you need it. But I'm going to look for a state in which the saturated vapor, right? So the specific volume for the saturated vapor is exactly 0 0.045 meters cubed per kilogram, right? Because those are the two things I know. I know this is the specific volume for state two, and I also know it is a saturated vapor because the quality is 100%, right? So we go here to the um, water table. I'm looking at the saturated water table. Um, I'm going to be looking for a saturated vapor whose value is 0 0.045. That's what I'm looking for here, right? So 206, no good, no good, no good. No good. Need to keep going, need to keep going, need to keep going. Okay, now we're getting close. 0.045, there you go, okay. Now I got it. All right, there you go. Okay, so it's going to be definitely, temperature is going to be between 255 and 260. All right, so I'm looking again, saturated vapor, and I'm looking for saturated vapor, which is 0 0.045. It's going, to fall, it's going to be very close to 255, right? Um, to be able to know exactly what I need to do is interpolate between these two guys here. If you don't know how to interpolate, check out this video in which we go over what it means to interpolate. And there's also another video that tells you different ways to do interpolation so that you know exactly how to do it in your own terms, all right? But what I'm looking for is I'm going to do interpolation for temperature and specific volume. And I have these two values here. I know these two values here plus this guy here. And that's what I'm looking for, temperature related to this guy. So how do we do that? Well, the way that I always do it is I have my specific volume over here. I have my temperature over here. And I know this that 255 is the temperature for 0 0.04591. And that for 0, 0, 0, 0.05085, the temperature is 250. Okay, 5, 5, there you go. So because 0.45 falls between these two guys here, it means that my temperature needs to fall between these two guys here. So therefore, if I want it for 0 0.45, then I'm going to find a temperature by interpolation. And when we do interpolation, what we do, oh, and by the way, ch check out, it's way closer, it should be way closer to 255 than it is to 50, right? Because 4.45 is way closer to this guy here than it is to this guy here. Okay, so keep that in mind when you do an interpolation. What we do find when we do this is that the temperature here is 25. 6.1 okay, and that will be our t2 right so this is our t2 temperature 2 <clears throat> and that will be our answer for that part second part is asking us what is the tv diagram can we draw the tv diagram of this okay so let's do the tv diagram we know so we have temperature here on the y-axis we have specific volume here on the x-axis we know the dome right the dome is the saturation liquid line and saturation vapor line Critical point here in which we can't distinguish it anymore. Things over here are compressed fluid or subcooled fluid. Over here, superheated. Inside this guy here, they are a saturated mixture. What we have is at 90, right? We have, we're at 90, so let's do 90 here. At 90, we are at a specific volume of 0 0.045 meters cubed per kilogram. Let's just find this place here. All right, so let's say that guy there is my state one, right? State one is this guy here. Now, what am I doing? I'm giving heat to my system. Remember, so I'm going from state one to my state two. What I'm doing is I'm giving heat into my system. And I know that my temperature will increase as I give heat, right? We actually noticed that we went from 90 all the way to 256. So we're going to go up, right? Up. Of course, because we're increasing the temperature. At the same time, right, we cannot move sideways whatsoever. So we cannot go this way. We cannot go this way. We cannot go this way. We have to go straight up. Why? Because our specific volume is not changing, right? It's a rigid container. No mass is going in. No mass is going out. The volume is going to be 1.8 the whole time. So therefore, I have to stay on the 0 0.045 all the time. So whatever I do here, I need to go straight upwards. And I'm going to go straight upwards all the way until I hit the line here, right? All the saturation line right there, right? And why do I know that? Because this point, we know that whenever we're at in anywhere in this blue line here that I just painted red, um, we have reached the saturation vapor um, state. What does that mean? That's the state at which if I take the smallest amount of energy, I'm going to find the first droplet of liquid for me, right? So that is the point in which the whole thing is vaporized, the whole thing is vapor, which is precisely what the problem told us. So therefore, this point here is our S2, right? That point there. And that's it, right? What we can do to make this a bit prettier, maybe, is we can probably know that this, and we know that this right here has to be 256.1. We know this is in 
Celsius, even though this is in meters cubed per kilogram to make it pretty and nice. And that's what we're doing, right? We're going from state one to state two. We're straight, straight up from wherever we were in the beginning all the way to the line there, the saturation vapor line right there. Okay, I hope this helps you out. If you have any questions, as per usual, just leave them down below in the comment section. If this video helped, maybe like the video and we'll talk very, very soon.